spider in the cave? No. Let's explain the story to you. Legends has it that in the early 1300s, the Scottish king, Robert the Bruce, was inspired by a determined spider in a cave in Scotland. Robert the Bruce had been declared an outlaw by King Edward and had been pursued by the English army and had fled Scotland. The story goes that Robert was hiding out of a cave, feeling defeated as rejected as ready to give up. On looking up the roof of the cave, Robert the Bruce observed a determined little spider. The spider was hanging from the roof of the cave and attempting to swim across to another rock to continue building its web. The spider tried to reach the rock six times but missed six times. The spider's effort resonated with the exiled Scottish king. He had failed to defeat the English on six occasions. Robert held uh, his breath as the spider tried again. This time the spider was successful and a turned little creature reached rock had been aiming for. It was able co to complete the marvellous web. The little, the tiny little spider inspired Robert the Bruce. Robert the Bruce was fortified, fortified by the spider's resolve and perseverance despite setbacks. The spider's trials had bolstered Robert's determination to continue his fight against his foes and he returned back to Scotland. This story has inspired us to to believe in a change. Sometimes in school we can find things a challenge. Sometimes we just have to believe in ourselves. You need to believe in yourself to achieve your goals. You will need to persevere, work hard, try again. Have courage and confidence. In what maybe we believe in ourselves to achieve our goals? Ah, oh, I keep forgetting this move. It's no good. I'm going to give up. Don't do that. We'll keep trying together. Let's have another go. I've got too much to do. I've got this all wrong. Don't worry, you will get there one step at a time, have another go. I can't do this, this is too hard for me. Don't give up. What part are you finding tricky? I can help you. I keep missing, I'm rubbish at this. No, you're not, believe in yourself. Shall we try again? Well done, Liam! Ah, ah, first! means try try again. Courage and confidence means sticking up for yourself and others. Courage and confidence means trying new things. Courage and confidence means being proud of yourself. I was confident when I started P3. I was confident when I started my new school. I was confident when I rode my bike to grandma. I was confident when I learned how to swim. I was confident and courageous when I started playing football. I was cur courage and confident when I was playing when I was playing on my bike, but I fell off then I got back on. I was confident and courageous when I first went on the wooden bars. I was courage and courageous when I drove down a big hill. I was courage and confident when I jumped off a swan. I had confident I was confident and courageous when I went off the biggest sit line in Scotland. I was confident and courageous when I was talking in front of the class. I was confident and courageous when I started fishing. I was confident and courageous when I first played football. I was courage and confident when I tried and tried again on my man. I had courage and confidence when I met new people. I had courage and confidence when I met new people. 
I was confident and courageous when I was practicing roller skating. I was confident and courageous when I went to the hospital. I was confident when I jumped off the high spring energy.
Look, Maeve, in primary school we have different values. You're going to tell you a bit more about painting caring. Imagine, Imagine everyone around you has a bucket. bucket. If your bucket's full, you'll feel good. You can do this as being kind and caring. Your, your friends can help fill your bucket. In primary two, we have different ways to be kind and caring. Let's see if we can fill a bucket. Let's have the sauce. Share with friends. Say something new. Say something nice to a friend. Open the door for somebody. Say please and thank you. Help tidy up. Draw someone a picture. See, sorry if it's even an accident. Take time. Listen when others are speaking. Help someone that's struggling. Ask someone how their day is. Tell someone they're doing good work. Help somebody with something that is heavy. Call someone who wasn't called for a while. Write someone a letter. Every quarter when you get your report. Respect! 